Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a super simple drawstring bag with lining, perfect for making gifts, party bags and more. So before we get started, I just want to ask you to like this video if you enjoy it, maybe subscribe to my channel if you are looking to do more projects and find out more about sewing, especially if you are a beginner, I'm going to be covering these topics quite a lot, so make sure you stick around. You can even turn on the notification bell just so then when a, a new video goes live you are notified of it straight away. Thank you and let's get into it. So before we get started I want to run through a few of the things you're going to need for this tutorial. One thing uh, I have that's a little bit extra is a ironing mat. This is like a wool felt one. You don't need to use this, you can use your ironing board. This is just so I can have it to hand on my desk when I need it. I have my cutting board, this is a rotating one but you can use whatever you have available or you can just use your scissors and cut a square. I have my rotary cutter, clips or you can alternatively use pins, tape measure and my quilting ruler. And the final thing is, of course, your fabric. So I'm going to make my drawstring bag roughly nine inches by six inches. So nine tall and six across. That way it's nice and roomy and you can fit lots of goodies in there. So before we get started, you want to make sure that your fabric is nice and pressed. You don't want any folds or wrinkles or lines. As you can see, because mine's been folded, it's got lots of natural folds. You want to get rid of those so that you can make sure that your fabric is nice and flat. So now your fabric is nice and ironed, we're going to take it and cut it. So as you can see, let's see if I bring it closer. As you can see on my board, uh, they've got the lines. So I measure placing my fabric along the line, so that I can get a nice straight edge, and I can look at the calculations as I go up and across. So as you can see we've got our first piece which is 6 inches by 9 inches. So if you like me you like to be able to choose the same one again. You will see this one as a template to be able to cut around to create a nice, neat cut. That way you definitely know that your pieces are the same size. So 
So I've got one lining and one outer piece. So I need one more of each now to create the bag. So now you should have two pieces of your lining and two of your outer fabric. Next we want to be taking both pieces of your outer fabric, placing them right sides together and pinning down the longest edge. With this you want to pin it and then sew it at a quarter inch seam. So now I've pinned these in place so I know that I'm sewing up the two longest edges on the side here. I'm going to do the same for my lining. There we go, let's get to sewing. So as you can see, I've sewn together the sides. Uh, you'll see there, maybe. So if I was to pull this open, you can see that it creates a tube. So I'm just going to cut off the stringy threads at the end, just so they're all nice and neat, and we'll move on to the next step. So now we want to be making sure that we can flatten our seam this, we want to make sure we can flatten this seam so when we join the pieces together that sits nice and flat and there's no big bulkiness there. So I just made so then the seam lies nice, flat and open so then when the other seam joins they can sit nice and flat together. So you want to take your lining and turn it the right side out like so. And look like that and then you simply want to use slip it into your main fabric you want to make sure that you get your seams matching up as much as you can you'll be able to get it in and twizzle it round a little just so then it lines up better and then you want to clip so they want to sit together neatly, just like that, so the edges, so it's right sides together and the edges are aligned up and flat, so neither one is peeking over the other. Clip that in as you go around, just to make sure it's nice and neat. So there you go, you've got them put together, so you've got your wrong side of the lining here inside and then the wrong side of the actual fabric there on the outside. Then eventually that will get turned through so you see the nice pretty fabric on the right side. So take your now pinned edges, take them to the sewing machine and stitch open as it is like this with a quarter inch seam. So as you can see I've got a nice clear stitch there going along that edge which has tied these pieces together. Just going to cut off any loose threads and we'll move on to the next step. So now you want to pull these linings apart so you've got one long tube. So you want to make sure you iron these just so it's nice and flat and you've not got any lumps or bumps where you don't want them. So now you've ironed your long tube, we're going to move on to the next step, which is pulling the lining back through, but keeping your right sides out. So I'm just going to pull my hand through, grab the end here, as you can see, just got my hand, and then I'm going to hold here with this one. So holding it at the bottom of the seam, just so that you can pull that lining through. like so and it meets the top so 
so that you should have your nice neat edge from your seam and your lining has gone has gone through so your lining is nice and on the right side on the inside and then you've got right side on the outside of your main fabric give that another press just to make sure it's nice and flat because you are going to be sewing this up in a second so as you can see this is still the raw edge up here of, and they're loose pieces so you should have four loose open layers and here you should have your nice neat edge we're going to pin that and then we're going to sew it up with a quarter inch seam again you can do this by top stitching it'll still be quite neat but you can also sew it by hand if you prefer a neater look so this is now the edge we're going to sew up let's do that now so as you can see i've managed to do a nice top stitch there and that sealed up that end so that has really created the bag feel as you can see can't get my hand through Next we're going to be working on this top section and how we're going to make this neat and into a drawstring bag. So first I like to roll back the top layer, so your outer layer just a little to really reveal your lining. So with the lining you want to fold down each edge about a quarter of an inch, as you can see, there you go. Do that with the iron and then you want to do the same for the top but fold that in so that then both pieces join together but I'll show you that in a second so I'll just quickly show you that I've folded down that top edge so you'll obviously like I've got a little flap here and then I'm going to do the same for this but I'm going to fold it inwards so then your neat edge is coming your right side of the fabric is coming in so as you can see I've now ironed my two sides so they match up nice and flush to create a nice bag so these sit together so you don't have any kind of peeking out over the top so I'm going to pin these together in place and sew and top stitch them you can sew them by hand again but I'm choosing to stop top stitching because it's quicker and easier and it tends to last longer when you come to washing the bag etc so as you can see I've got a nice crisp seam at the top all the way around and that has solid you know create a nice solid bag so now we need to see where our channel is going to go so I'm going to be using this quite thin ribbon for my uh, drawstring bag you can use anything that you have to hand or anything you want to purchase in particular just make sure that your channel is wide enough for the ribbon so I'm going to use the stitch that I've just created on the sew machine here I'm going to measure slightly down just enough to make sure that I can get my uh, ribbon through so maybe just half an inch just so it's got plenty of room to go through I'm going to measure that down and do the same again and do a running stitch all the way around the bag so you can see I've got another stitch line running parallel to my first one that's here the second one is here to create the opening for your drawstring, like your ribbon to go through, you want to be taking each seam at the edge and just simply cutting in. You can use an unpicker just to get unpick the seam just between these two lines to enable you to get the ribbon through. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, but now I've got that that edge open so I can get my um, seam ripper through. So you'll be able to do this with your ribbon. So you only have to do it for the top layer of fabric, not the lining. Just so then you've still got something that creates like a nice little cushion in behind. And it just make, gives your straw, string bag more security and stability. So next you need to get yourself a paper clip. I've just got this little one, um, just so it's smaller just to go through my channel. If you've got a larger channel, use a larger paper clip just so it's easier to grab hold of while you're threading through your ribbon. So connect your ribbon to the edge of the end of the paper clip like so. So you'll see that it moves a little, but it won't come off. This is to help pull it through. So you've got the physically, so you've physically got the paper clip to hold on to while you're threading through the fabric and the ribbon will follow.
So start pushing it through. I like to push with one thumb and then kind of pull it back the fabric and this allows the this allows the paper clip to keep moving through and not get too tangled up. And then you're back at the beginning. Back to the beginning and there's that one side done. So I cut off the edge of your cut your so I'm gonna add quite a bit of a length quite a bit of length to my ribbon and then I'm going to tie a knot in the end just so then it keeps it nice and secure and it doesn't unthread easily repeat for the other side so when you're doing the other side you want to go in this side loop all the way around and back out that way so you have one at each side of the bag so there you have it, your very own drawstring bag with a cute little lining. So you simply have to pull it together and use it. Thank you for joining me in this video, I hope you've liked it, I hope it's been helpful and I hope you manage to make some lovely drawstring bags in the future. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one, bye.